Praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, the King of all kings and the Lord of laws. Hallelujah. Precious saints of the living God, the Lord God Almighty bless you all this morning. Thanks be to God Almighty who is and who was and is to come and who reigns forevermore the king of all glory the lord of lords the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end the first and the last the great i am the lord god of hosts our everlasting king of glory the god who died and rose again on the third day triumphantly and ascended far above principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world spiritual hosts of wickedness in high places are in his name that is above every other name i have the privilege and opportunity once again to come your way and to share with you the word of exhortation morning glory uh exhortation a word to you and i believe this morning that god by his word will speak to us by the power of the holy spirit and i trust god almighty that as he has given us the gift of life and the spirit of life that is in christ jesus he will edify us through his word and the holy spirit will bless our hearts immensely hallelujah and so thanks be to god for giving us the gift of life he's shown his love and his unconditional release upon our lives that we are still alive in him through christ jesus our lord so the lord bless you all this is morning pastor samuel once again from house of prayer for all nations ministries in Hertfordshire, uh, England, United Kingdom, the Lord bless you all this morning, and I trust that God will speak to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. People of God, we are grateful that in Him we live and move and have our being. Christ Jesus is the life of our lives, and He is the possessor and the giver and the source of all life. And so as we have received life and partake of this, this life and godliness that is in Christ Jesus, we also have the hope and the, opportunity, uh, the hope and the grace and the privilege that His word that supersedes and transform, uh, transcends above all things, will empower us, revive us, lift us up and bring us to our place of glory in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And so this morning, I have the opportunity to share with you once again on um, uh, the message I started uh, this month, which which is uh, the power of divine restoration. God will restore us in this month of October and even until the end of the year. There is a restorational grace that God is going to release upon us. And as far as we are connected in Him, as far as we, we, we believe and hold on to the promises of God, He will restore us and all things that we have lost will be restored back to us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning, my message is found in the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah chapter number 61 the verse number seven reading from the verse number seven and the title of my message for today under the power for divine restoration is ye shall receive double you shall receive double hallelujah praise be to god forevermore let's have a short word of prayer father in the name of jesus thank you this morning for the power of your word as i minister your word unto your people i pray that you will give me the grace and the unction and the power to speak your oracles of heaven let your word in my mouth be fire and let your word exalt empower your people let your word motivate revive and transform your people lift your people up from their place of lack from their place of hopelessness to the place of hope and to the place of restoration I decree in the name of Jesus that by the end of this ministration, let many souls and many lives be touched, be empowered, and let many souls be transformed to your glory. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. Precious saints of the living God, the book of the prophet Isaiah chapter number 61 the verse number seven let's hear the word of the living god praise be to god forevermore i'm reading from the king james version 
and I might read also in the New International Version. Praise be to God. The Bible says in the King James Version, in Isaiah 61, 7, it says that for your shame ye shall receive double. For your shame ye shall have double. And for confusion ye shall receive, ye shall rejoice in their portion. And therefore, in their land shall they possess double. Everlasting joy shall be upon them. Hallelujah. I'll read it again. For your shame ye shall have double, for com and, confu and for confusion ye shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. In the New International Version, the Bible says also that Isaiah 61, the verse number 7, in the New International Version, it says that instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. And instead of disgrace, you will re rejoice in your inheritance. And so you will inherit a double portion in your land. And everlasting joy will be yours. Praise be to God forevermore. That is the word of the Lord. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. People of God, this is the word of God for us this morning. In this context of Isaiah chapter 61, it is a messianic prophetic scripture. God prophetically spoke through the, uh, the prophet Isaiah, uh, who was a major prophet in his day, uh, to admonish the people of Israel after they have come out of captivity. And the Bible says that he proclaimed the favor of the Lord's year unto the people of Israel. This morning, in this month, God is proclaiming unto us restoration, restoration and favor. Favor and restoration is coming upon us. So the Bible says that in the King James, it says, for your shame, ye shall have double. Everything that has become a shameful thing to you, Everything that the enemy stole from your life from the beginning of last year, even through the pandemic, and as a result of the pandemic, everything that you have lost, and for your shame, God is going to reward you double. There is a double restoration that is coming to you. There is a double favor that is coming to you. There is a double breakthrough that is coming to you. There is a double opportunity that is coming to you. There is a double uh, open doors that is coming to you. So the Bible says that for your shame, ye shall have double. Anything that enemy meant for you to be in everlasting shame and confusion, God is declaring prophetically to us this morning that for our shame, we will receive double. You see, in the sight of God, anything that is hopeless is not hopeless in the sight of God. That is why the Bible says that for with God, all things are possible. So the things that are impossible before us, it is possible in the sight of God. The things that we see that looks as an impossibility in, in our sight, with God, there is a possibility. Anything that looks hopeless, with God, there is hope. And I came to declare to you that whatever that looks hopeless in your life, God is declaring in this man that for your shame, you shall receive double. Anything that looks hopeless, God is about to turn that hopeless situation into the place of hope and even into restoration for you to receive double out of that hopeless situation. In the name of Jesus, in things that looks hopeless in your life, things that looks dead in your life, things that look dead in your health, your body, your organs, anything that is not responding now uh, uh, for you to have restoration, God is saying he's going to double you and bring you to the place of restoration. I came to declare to you, every organ in you that is dead, may it receive the strength of God. May that organ be revived. May God rejuvenate his power and his healing virtue authority that will enter into your body right now. Receive divine healing now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that for your shame, 
So whatever the enemy program for you to enter into confusion, for you to enter into shame, reproach, rejection, limitation, failure, and even into the place of uh, non-achievement and non-productivity, I came to declare to you this morning that God is going to cause you to come to the place of glory. There is a double blessing. There is double restoration that God is going to release upon you in this month in the name of Jesus. Uh, and as you hear the voice of the Lord uh, prophetically, God is saying he is going to lift you up and double you to your place of victory. Hallelujah. And he said for confusion, they shall rejoice in your portion. Anything the enemy set as a spirit of confusion between you and your family, between you and your household, between you and your workplace, whatever that the enemy set as a confusion, as a, as, as, as a byword and as a reproach against you, uh, God is saying that he would turn that confusion into the place of rejoicing. Uh, I came to declare to you uh, that you will rejoice. Uh, in that situation, in that situation that you think that there is no hope that is coming out of that situation, God is speaking prophetically that he will bring rejoicing spirit upon you and you will rejoice in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, he said, therefore in their land, they shall possess the double. So God is saying that where he's bringing you, he's bringing you to a land of multiplicity, to a to the place of double and increase and abundance, you will possess your possession. Uh, the things that you have lost, uh, the things that you are believing God for, that it seems like the enemy is contending with you. Uh, God is bringing to you to the place of double. You shall receive double harvest. Double harvest in your business. Double harvest in your finances. Double harvest in your health. Double harvest in uh, your, your marriage. In every area of your life that pertains to life and godliness, there is a double harvest that is coming to you in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says that, and, and, and you shall possess double and even everlasting joy shall be upon you. You see, when God brings you to this place of receiving double, receiving increase, harvest, multiplicity, and plenty, this thing will bring you to the place of joy, everlasting joy. That is what God is speaking here about. He said he is giving you everlasting joy. That means that that joy that is coming is not going to be a one day joy or a two days joy or a one week joy or a three months joy. It is going to be an everlasting joy. Beloved, receive everlasting joy into your spirit now. Receive the everlasting joy of the Lord. For the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Uh, receive the joy of the Lord. Everlasting joy in the name of jesus hallelujah in the in the new international version he says that and instead of your disgrace you will receive re, you will rejoice so anything that the enemy program for you to come to the place of disgrace god is going to cause you to come to the place of grace hallelujah God is lifting you from the place of disgrace to the place of grace. And when grace locates you, favor locates you. When grace locates you, uh, promotion locates you. When grace locates you, uh, you come to the place uh, of everlasting joy. He continues there and he said in the New International Version, he says that and you will inherit a double portion. So not only will you receive, you will inherit it. What is an inheritance? An inheritance is something that God has endorsed it. An inheritance is something you receive that will become an, an everlasting blessing. I pray in the name of Jesus, may that inheritance uh, be released upon you and your, and your family and your on, on your generations even yet unborn hallelujah and the bible says that and you will inherit a double in your land you will receive a double in your life and you will enter into everlasting joy and that will be your portion beloved your portion is to enter into everlasting joy and happiness. And I release that grace upon you this morning. Receive that grace now. Receive that favor now in the name of Jesus. Uh, beloved, 
For your shame, you shall receive a double. You shall receive double, double restoration, double restitution, double increase, double favor, double grace. Grace and greater grace is your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will see the glory of God. You will see the power of God. You will see the hand of God, the miraculous hand of God in this month of restoration in Jesus' mighty name. Beloved, the Lord bless you. Share this word, propagate this word, spread this word, that this word will be a spiritual impartation and a blessing to as many people that receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for the power of your word this morning that has come to us, O Lord. You said for our shame, we shall receive double. I pray that anything that the enemy has programmed against your people and against us, O Lord, uh, to bring us to the place of shame, uh, cause us, O Lord, uh, that we will enter into the place of grace, that we will enter into the place of receiving everlasting joy, everlasting joy, and double portion of the blessings that you have in store for us in this month. I release divine restoration over the lives of your people this morning and I pray that Father in this month of restoration, let your people encounter and experience the double portion of the restoration grace that you are releasing upon them in every area of their life, in their finances, their marriage, their business, the work of their hands, they are going out, they are coming in and all things that pertains to life and godliness in their lives. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for the sick. Touch the sick, touch the oppressed, heal and set the captives free. I command those that are in bondage, release them. Father, deliver the oppressed and the bound and cause your people to be liberated and be restored. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Beloved, the Lord bless you. Come to this place of revelation knowledge in Christ Jesus, knowing that when God speaks his word, who of a surety come to pass. And as he has declared that for our shame, we shall receive double, double portion of the blessings of God is inevitable in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Shalom. Peace from above.